Hey guys, this is going to be a tutorial on making a uh, computer diode or just a randomized graphic uh, for a computer. Um, I already made a back a black background layer and I'm going to start off by um, creating a new vector layer, which I've already done down here. And um, I'm going to use the uh, shape tool, go to circle, and we're going to take off the auto stroke and auto fill. And we're also going to turn the grid on by hitting Command G. So it brings up this grid. And what we want to do is put this circle in the dead center um, of the screen for uh, rotation purposes. So we'll just draw a circle like that. And now we can take off the uh, grid because we know it's centered. And we will scale it up to whatever size we want. I'm going to hit Command C and then Command V to uh, copy and paste a new circle. Going to scale this one up just a little bit so we get a ring. And um, now that we have a, a ring, we can go ahead and fill that in by hitting the paint bucket and selecting fill only, leave the stroke off, and we'll hit uh, a green color. And make sure that when you left click and drag, it only uh, highlights this, the ring. So then now we have a green ring. Now the second thing we're going to do is make this a little more interesting by um, breaking apart the shape a little bit. So add another vector layer. We're going to call this the mask. And then we're going to create a group. A group folder and drag this on top. Select your ring. Go ahead and name this ring and select the mask and the ring, drag them into your group folder, and we actually want the mask to be on the very bottom of the group. And we'll double click our group layer, go into masking, and click hide all. Now the reason why everything disappeared is because the mask has nothing on it. The mask is what allows you to see objects within the group. So if we click on the mask layer, and we'll select shapes again, uh, hits uh, the uh, rectangle and hit autofill. Um, oh, we also want to uh, double click the mask layer and we want to go into masking and say add to mask but keep invisible. That way any of the uh, shapes that we draw in the mask only appear through the artwork above it. So now if I drag a rectangle across the mask you can see part of the circle which is what we want. We just want to create some geometry like that. And now we have a little spliced apart circle. All we want to do now is while we're on the group layer go to frame 1. You can hit the arrow over or just click and drag over to frame 1. Hit the rotate layer tool. Just click anywhere on the screen and then right click on the, that first keyframe you made, go down to noisy, and then you can just play around with these settings, just type in anything you want. I'm going to type in 2-4 and see what that does. And what that's going to do is going to create random rotation on that uh, circle right there. It's a little bit too fast, so I'm going to right click on the keyframe again, and I'm going to turn the, I think, amplitude up. And it might slow it down. Mm, not really. We'll just keep messing with it till it looks right. Let's let's turn the scale way up, to like eight. Turn the uh, amplitude back down to like three. Let's see what that does. That's a little better. That's kind of what I wanted. Now, let's go back to frame zero on your uh, ring layer or group layer. Um, we'll just call this ring group. And what we'll do is we will uh, just click on your ring group, we'll duplicate it, um, hit scale layer, bring that down a little bit. Let's go ahead and rotate the layer on frame zero. Oops. So it's in a little different position. Then we, we'll go back into the uh, keyframe and just change these uh, settings just a little bit. We'll change this to 11 and 4 just so it rotates a little bit different than the other one. Okay, 
and then we can just do that again one more time uh, go back oh let's go back to frame zero uh, rotate this third group group I hit s to scale it oops or not s at the uh, layer scale like that scale that in a little bit more right click on the uh, keyframe change the noise do that 15 and 2 just really random and there we have a little computer diode um, if you want to add some glow to it we can also add one more or go back to frame zero uh, create a new group this way we can control them all together we'll just select all the ring groups and put them in this new uh, group oops get in there I want to go there we go that way we can manipulate them all at the same time we'll uh, create one more vector layer we'll go ahead and drag that on the top of this group and we'll hit uh, make sure you're on frame zero the shapes tool we'll hit circle and autofill is on we'll still use this green but we're gonna um, click on the color and change the transparency about halfway and we'll also change the effect to soft edge and let's type in like 50 so it's really blurred <clears throat> turn the grid back on by hitting command G make a new circle make sure it's centered again uh, like that turn the grid off hit s to scale it up and let me render that to see what that looks like so now it's got kind of a glow around it actually I don't want it to be all the way a full circle so let's back up let's delete this go to circle take the autofill off and we're gonna do the same thing we did at the beginning um, turn the grid on create a circle uh, turn the grid off, hit S to scale it up, like that. Command C, Command V to paste, hit S again, shrink it down so we have a ring. And let's grab the paint bucket and just paint that in there like that. Let's scale it back down so it's overlapping a little bit of the uh, rings. We'll grab that inner circle and scale that down so it's covering where the rings are rotating. Let's render that. So now we have a kind of a glow around the diode. And there it is. You have a spinning tech techy Borg type shape. Let me go ahead and render that real quick. We'll just do like a hundred frames. And I don't know if that's how you spell diode. Whatever. Do best. And it's only going to take a second to render. But like I said, this is something you can use if you're doing sci fi animation or something like that and uh, want to add some just background stuff on the walls or something like that. And let's see what it looks like. There it is. And you can go ahead and copy a bunch of them, you know, it's, now, you, now that you have it in a group layer, you can uh, duplicate, change the entire size, and um, have a whole bunch. And that's it.